Fortnite Battle Royale has all types of references to shows and movies, but The Simpsons has one that nobody noticed. To celebrate Easter, the developers released the Egg Drop Scoop. Seems like a simple joke, but this is an exact reference to Ralph from the show. Make sure to land at Anvil Square this season because while it is heavily inspired by Attack on Titan City, it's also hiding a major Easter egg. Walking into this hidden basement reveals a one-to-one -one replica of Aaron's dad's office from the anime. Speaking of my favorite shows, SpongeBob has inspired countless parts of Fortnite like Take the Bow, which references the classic imagination scene. And of course, I have to bring up the world's tiniest violin. It's iconic. But there's a reference which is so hidden, nobody knew about it for years. In 2021, people realized that Raptor's description felt off, calling him a true daredevil who has a very hard time turning down any challenges that come his way, even stupid ones. Okay, especially stupid ones. Feels a bit random, right? Well, this is actually a tribute to C-Day, who is known for wearing the skin while doing the most derpiest challenges. But let's talk about Agent Jones because this guy is a walking advertisement for collabs. His styles include all kinds of references like Daryl's poncho, Batman's belt, even the Mudhorn signet from the Mandalorian, and it goes further. In the chapter two live event, he shoots with this pose, which bears a striking resemblance to Han Solo. And then when you actually play as Jones, his idle animation is referencing Jonesy the first item shop pose. Now what's crazy is how Fortnite once foreshadowed the black hole event months before it happened. In the season nine trailer, you'll remember how Jonesy and Peely were trapped in the Tilted Towers bunker, partying and working out, but pay attention to the arcade machine they're playing. This Durburger game is the same one that appears in the end event as a secret mini game. A few years later, we got a new threat in the island with the alien invasion. While we don't know much about them, there was dialogue at the time which revealed they only ate cat food. Seems a little weird, but this is a reference to District 9 where the aliens also obsess over cat food. But from cats to bears, the Grizz skin was pretty underrated when it first came out. And over time, people have forgotten about this guy, but his built-in emote can't be ignored. The suit raises Grizz up into the air just like Rafiki from The Lion King, so you gotta give him credit for this. Rewinding all the way back to chapter one takes us to one of the first loading screens in Battle Royale. It shows a default skin hiding from Rex, which is obviously Jurassic Park's kitchen scene. It gets even better if you look at the design. On the side, there's a message that says, Smart Young Lady, June 11th, 1993, the release date of the film. And of course, Smart Young Lady is another way of saying, Clever girl. Now definitely pay attention to Eco, a community concept that became its own skin, and every detail on this outfit is a reference to chapter one. Whether it's the Loot Lake chest blade, Dusty Depot on his leg, or the Durburger restaurant on his arm, it's full of homages. Even live events get recognition, like the final showdown pickaxe, or the volcano back bling that erupts when you get eliminations. But there's a secret that teased the collab years before it came out, and it can be found on the heli carrier from chapter two. Not only was this thing a one-to-one -one replica from the movies, but you could head to the bridge and find Nick Fury's eye patch on the table. It like an innocent reference until Fury actually released a year later. And he's not the only Marvel legend to be recognized by Fortnite. When Stan Lee passed away, Epic were already hard at work on the Avengers Endgame LTM. To pay the respects, they added small text at the end of a match that yelled Excelsior and they totally didn't have me reaching for my tissue box, okay? Now thousands of people didn't spot this detail on Cypher PK's Dragon Glider. It's a really bright cosmetic, so it's hard to notice the pink bow wrapped around its arm. Turns out this is the same bow wrapped around his microphone and his wife gave it to him when they first met. And even more subtle reference can be found in the loading screen of the second Street Fighter bundle, which included this photo showing them beating the crap out of Peely's car for no reason. Seems random, but this is a nod to a bonus stage in the original Street Fighter where you literally have to fight a car. If that leaves you scratching your head, well, there's an emote for that, and it's referencing an iconic moment from Pulp Fiction where John Travolta is equally as confused. But you really had to pay attention to even notice a hidden Easter egg for Tim the Tapman. He is infamous for playing as Tomato Head and dying to fall damage time and time again. So when the Chapter 3 Resistance trailer came out, it was hilarious to watch Tomato Head fall to his death in the background. Sometimes even the most basic features are secret references. You want to realize, but this whole time swimming was paying homage to Adam Sandler. The dolphin dive that happens as you jump through the ocean is taken straight from Don't Mess With The Zohan, where you watch Adam Sandler do the exact same thing. But that's not as subtle as a secret Easter egg that could only be found in Greasy Grove. People discovered this tea party, which had macarons and a Red Hearts teapot, obviously a reference to Alice in Wonderland. And I seriously didn't expect one of the collabs to be Evil Dead though. When that released, it was full of details like the cabin from the movies. But the best secret appeared when you talk to Ash as Spider-Gwen. He says you remind him of a wrestler he once knew, and that wrestler is Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Before becoming a superhero, he was the human spider, and in that same scene, the announcer is Bruce Campbell. The same dude! Well, that's not the only Marvel reference. With the reveal of the P-1000 skin, people quickly realized the trailer was a little too familiar. In fact, it was a one-to-one -one replica of this 
Iron Man scene from the hammer to the cave walkout. And if you looked into the item shop recently, you might have spotted an original skin named Drop D. It's based on a community concept, but there's one key difference, the t-shirt. And now it says don't talk to me, which is a reference to I Talk Fortnite, who mains Power Cord. One of my personal favorites is an achievement that could only be found during the water season. If you dealt 1,966 damage to sharks, you would earn Shark Repellent, which is a joke from Adam West Batman. Another classic reference is the Disco Fever emo. It seems like a normal dance at first, but it's taken directly from the disco scene and Saturday Night Fever. While the Vulcan Salute emote is marked as a regular cosmetic, it's actually an homage to Star Trek. Who knows, maybe this was even meant to be a collab at one point. Only one could hope. Now let's take a look at the Rubik's Cube emote. The colors on this thing are very different to the ones in real life, and that's because they are inspired by the Fortnite cubes with purple, gold, and blue tiles. Speaking of the last reality, their invasion gave us some incredible cosmetics like the Pluxarian Gothic loading screen. Any fan of art will recognize this as a parody of American Gothic, one of the most famous paintings in the world. And that's not the only parody. When Triggerfish was announced, they teased him with a short trailer showing him rising from the waters in a jungle. And when you put it side by side with Apocalypse Now, you could see the resemblance. But one of the greatest Easter eggs was the time Fortnite roasted themselves. They dropped a bundle called the Checkered Past, and if the name wasn't enough of a clue, just look at Veronica's dead game shirt. We were getting so many comments saying this, it was only fitting to sell it. A collab you can't buy is only found in this season's reveal trailer. As Thunder drives through the streets of Mega City, he does a very familiar move. Comparing it to the bike drift from Akira, it is identical. And this is so iconic that movies and games have been referencing it for decades. And it's just like Star Wars in the famous Carbonite scene. Han Solo being frozen is unforgettable, and that's why Epic couldn't miss the opportunity in front of them when the Mandalorian dropped. In the Hunter's Haven POI, you can head into Mando's house house and find Peely frozen in Carbonite, which also links straight from the trailer. And thanks to the Zero Crisis event, there's a super hidden reference which could tease a future crossover. The image for the event was Jonesy tying his headband and preparing to fight, but there's more to this than you think. Comparing it to Rambo, you could instantly see the reference. But you really have to look closely to notice this attack on Titan Easter egg. The official loading screen for Aaron Yeager is him in Mega City. While his pose is instantly recognizable as the season 1 poster, you quickly realize the Cyber Dragon is meant to represent the colossal Titan. Titan. People also missed the hidden meaning behind Primo Moves, a classic emote that is taken directly from an equally classic movie. In The Breakfast Club, Claire does this dance during detention, and Fortnite loved it so much they put it in the game. Now, there was one easter egg that went over millions of people's heads, and it only appeared during Fortnite Mares 2019. As you enter Retail Row, a message would appear and say, Beware the Horde, spawning hundreds of zombies. But this text had a secret version at night. Instead it'd say, What a horrible night to have a curse, which is a famously annoying part of Cat Castlevania 2. Well, everyone knows about the Mortal Kombat Easter egg in this season trailer, there was more to it than you might think. As Brutus falls to the ground, Ocean catches his helmet, which most people forgot about, but it turns out you see the end of the story with her edit style, which is actually his mask. But one secret could only be found in an item shop image. To troll everyone for April Fools, Fortnite once dropped a Stonks meme skin and called it Diamond Hands. In the background, it wasn't gibberish, the stock market had real Fortnite companies on it. You can see No Sweat Insurance, Durburger, and Pizza Pit, along with these other names on the screen. The best part is how all these guys are getting a huge stock bump, except for Kevolution Energy, which for some reason has plummeted 999%. Now you'll find some of these companies in Mega City, but there is more to this place other than the fact that it looks cool. The layout and surrounding area on the minimap is very similar to the real life shape of Tokyo, including the bay around it. But anyone who's been playing Fortnite for years will probably remember the most agonizing quest of all time. Once they asked us to open seven chests at Risky Reels to unlock the visitor skin, the entire lot be dropped here all at once, every single game, and it was just insanely chaotic. So in Chapter 2, Epic had an achievement called Impossible, and the best part, it could only be found if you open 7 chests at a drive-in theater. Now that's not the only painful memory, in Season X they released the Brutes, and obviously, they are pretty controversial. Along with these overpowered mechs, there was a loading screen that showed X-Lord hiding from them, and years later, Fortnite didn't forget about it. To tease Mecha Morty coming to the item shop, they dropped this trailer, which replaced the Brutes with Morty, and it was hilarious. And it's just like Chris Farley's Saturday Night Live sketch, which is one of the most famous skits they have ever done, and the devs are clearly huge fans. Must have been the reason for them to immortalize this moment with the showstopper emote. And I didn't even realize these billboards were a secret reference until years later. You might remember posters from Yaosu's restaurant in the invasion season, but when you got close to them, they changed to a hidden message saying submit. Pretty creepy, but there's a reason for this happening, and you can find it by watching John Carpenter's They Live from 1988. In the movie, this exact same thing happens where regular advertisements are replaced by instructions like obey. Another classic alien movie appeared in the same season. As the invasion began, Rick plays different tones
headphones on a keyboard, just like the iconic scene from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. One of the best secrets was in the background of Captain America's trailer in 2020. He arrives on the map thanks to Bifrost, which means Thor brought him. Some people were skeptical about this at the time, but it was a hidden teaser for the upcoming Marvel season. And Fortnite's oldest reference could be found on this paper plane glider from four years ago. Back then, it was super hard to notice, but now we have the advantage of replay mode. So look under the wing of this glider and you'll see the words, my name Jeff from 22 Jump Street. Another overlooked chapter one secret was this saloon car carrying a Christmas tree. It blends into the world so much, no one noticed it was the same car from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And the subtle references keep coming with this small boat at Log Jam Lotus. It had a pirate sail, telescope, and bucket, all because it's a nod to the boat Jack Sparrow uses at Pirates of the Caribbean. But hey, at least they didn't get in trouble for this. Well, that's unlike the default dance, which is both the most famous emote of Fortnite and almost its biggest downfall. The devs are clearly fans of the show Scrubs and added this dance into the game as a tribute, but it caused the actor to sue Epic for quote unquote stealing the dance, even though it's totally free. But there is one Easter egg which has an insanely rare chance of appearing. As you play Fortnite, you'll eventually be killed by a bot. I mean, it's just destined to happen. But pay attention to the name of the bots that eliminate you because some have deeper meanings. Noble Plus Good is a reference to 1984 and Athena where Apollo is asking which island you prefer. Now the flare gun was first teased in a short film at the World Cup, which was meant to be a comedy skid, but players immediately wanted to know if it would actually release. A little did they know, all we had to do was look at the crate and read the number, which secretly teased season three and the flare gun. And if you've ever walked through the map and noticed the most random posters on the walls, you're not alone. They're not low quality sketches though. These are actually love letters from Epic to their own history. And one of the most recognizable posters is this image of Jazz Jack Rabbit, which is over 20 years old. If we missed one, make sure to comment down below. Hope you all enjoyed. It's been Tommy. Make sure to hit subscribe and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.